Hello and welcome ITTV Gaming here. In today's episode, we are going to start building this underground base. As you can see, it is a quite modern design and I am actually very happy with how this turned out. But we are going to divide this in multiple episodes. The first one is going to be the entrance, the hallway. And in the next episode, we are going to focus on individual rooms and our entrance. If you want to build along, there will be a list in the description, so keep that in mind. Once you got everything, let's get started. To start off, we are going to create a 33 by 33 area. Then you want to go down 15 blocks, so counting from this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 15, and you want to just dig out everything in between. Now we got a 33 by 33 area, which is 15 blocks deep. And we are going to add in the roof at some point, but for now let's focus a little bit on the underground base itself. And we got a natural cave up here, which is good. We can explore this a little bit later on, but for now let's just close this. As you can see, this is all cobblestone, which is fine, but we still need to mix in some different stone. So I'm going to go for polished and the side, and I'm going to add some in just randomly. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now we need to indicate some extra areas, so for different rooms. So what you want to do is you want to take some deep slay. We are going to work with some deep slay. And we're going to work with some mangrove as well. Even nether bricks. I think the red nether brick would look fine as well. So let's go in 14 blocks. One, two. Fourteen. Then place a deep slay block. Go in four blocks and then add another one. This should be exactly at the center. Now we are going to do this on each side. You can just go in line with this. Go across and add it in. And let's do this from this side. Here we go. Now let's build up a simple staircase. So you just want to go in four blocks first. One, two, three, four in total. Now we're going to build up a staircase. So let's start off with this one. So you just want to go in and up and then take some quartz stairs add it in on the sides and at the center we can just use some nether brick stairs okay let's do that for each one Here we go. And we still need to indicate some extra pillars on the sides. So let's do that first. And you want to work four blocks underneath this. So one, two, three, four. Let's do that over here as well. Okay, so you want to go up three blocks and then add some nether bricks going all the way around. go after that you want to take some quartz blocks and i'm going to use some quartz bricks for this one and you want to add it in on the sides going up then we are going to add another row of nether brick stairs and with that in place we are going to add some extra blocks at the corners like this going up Let's do that for each side. Now we are going to have some chests on top of this, but first we want to take some slabs and I'm going to use the quartz slab for this one. We want to go in two blocks. 
we're going to go all the way around again. Now we still need to do a couple more things. So first we're going to indicate some extra pillars. So what you want to do is you want to add some blocks on top of the corners like this. There we go. Then you want to build it up until this point. It looks fine. Now we need to go down from these points. So you just want to do this for each one. Okay, after that we're going to add another row of stairs going across from this point. Then you want to take some iron bars and we're going to go up and go all the way around again. Then take some quarter stairs and we're going to add it in, going around like that. And let's do the same thing over here. Then we're going to do the same thing on top. This time we're going to go all the way around. Then let's take some little brick stairs again and let's add it underneath as well. Now to light these areas up we are going to use some chains and lanterns. So let's add some chains. Then you just want to add a lantern as well. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some shapes on these corners. So let's start off with this one. First you want to take your slabs and you want to connect these two points. Then what you want to do is you want to start off from this point and go in two blocks and keep going in. And you will end up with one block over here. So let's do the exact same thing over here as well. So you want to make sure that you start from the same point. So we, we've started there. So let's start over here again. Okay, that looks good as well. And then you want to take some nether brick stairs again and we're going to add it underneath. Connecting these two pillars. Let's do the same thing over here as well. Here we go. Now you want to take some close stone and we are going to add it on the back side. Here we go and this will light it up and it will give it a very nice effect as well. Then underneath we are going to add another row of slabs going all the way in. Just like this. And we are going to repeat this on each side as well. It looks good and we are going to do the same thing over here. Then take some slabs and you just want to cover this up. Then again take some lanterns and place it on top of the staircases. Then you want to add three stairs like this on each pillar. Then 
take some polished blackstone button and add it in as well. Okay, now we are going to add some buttons over on these pillars. So you just want to go up two and add it in. Then take some close sound and add it in on the back side. So you just want to add three over here and three on this side, just right behind the staircases. Okay, then take some net brick walls and add it in going up on the sides of the glow sun, just like this. Then take some slabs and you just want to add it in on this side and go around. Then we're going to take the walls and we're going to fill this in all the way up, just like this. And we're going to do that for each one. Then you want to take some walls again and we're going to cover the sides until this point. Okay, so let's do that for each one. Next up, we're going to again add some extra pillars. So you just want to build up this until this point over here and we are going to do that for each one then you want to take some slabs again and you just want to cover this all up okay now you want to replace the floor with some deep state tile bricks And then you want to replace the wall with some dark oak planks. After that, you can go ahead and place your chests in. Here we go. Now let's do that for each side. Here we go. Now, once that is done, we're going to move on and we're going to start working on this side. So first, we're going to indicate the same shape as we have done on top. So you want to take some slabs again. So start from the same side. So over here, let's go in. Like this. Okay, so let's do that for each corner. Okay, then you want to take some slabs again, and we're going to connect each point together. Then you want to go one block next to this, and connect this point, do the same thing over here, and we're going to repeat the same thing again. Just like that. Then take some close up and 
get rid of this and place your closer just to light this up there we go then take some gray carpet and use it for the center area then take some black carpet and we're going to add it in on the sides go now at the center areas what you want to do is you want to use some red carpet but you want to go across like this and do the same thing over here then take some dark oak trapdoors and place it in on the sides Then take some black carpet and add it on top of the glowstone. And we got a basic shape like this and I quite like this one. Okay, now let's replace these blocks with some quartz concrete for now. This is going to be a part way later on, but for now just let's fill it in. Just to make it easier to follow along. And we are going to replace these walls with some mangrove wood. So you just want to go in and make sure that you connect these sides as well. Just to make it easier. You want to replace the side walls with some mangrove wood. Then, if you want to, you can even add some chains going all the way up. Okay, now we are going to do this for each one. Okay, once we're done with that, what we're going to do is we're going to add an additional block on top of these so that it is actually a straight line. Go. Then you want to take some quartz bricks and we're going to add it on top. Then you want to take some quartz stairs again and you just want to go all the way around. Then you want to take some nether bricks and then we are going to go up two blocks. After that, take some quartz stairs again and we are going to go across one more time. Then you want to take some anthrax and we are going to add it in on the sides. Then you want to take some polished blackstone buttons and then add it in. we go now a quick change what i want to do is i want to replace the trapdoors with some black carpet because i'm actually not really happy with the dark oak trapdoors so let's change this up okay now let's take some black sound buttons and let's actually go up all the way Okay, once that is done, you want to take some quartz slabs again. So we're going to go across from this point. So you want to go in line with the pillars. Go all the way across. Here we go. Now we are going to add another row just for lightning. So you just want to go in from this side. 
you want to pick a side doesn't really matter i'm going to go this way so you just want to go in one block two blocks and then go across okay let's do the same thing over here just like that then take some sea lanterns and you just want to add a temporary block go ahead and place some sea lanterns going all the way across then take some iron trapdoors and add it in then at the center you want to add the blocks and then go ahead and place some glowstone once again we're going to add some trapdoors then you want to take some deep slate tile slabs and you want to cover the roof then you want to add some chains and some lanterns so you just want to go in like this so you want to start off with one then two then three just take a lantern and place it in okay let's do that over here as well I want to start off with some changes to this build and then we're going to add some extra things to this as well but first i'm going to change up these side pillars we're going to add some stairs and i'm going to use some red nether brick stairs for this one and i'm going to change this up for each one go now i need to change this as well so i'm going to add another staircase on the back side of this another thing i want to do is i want to add some dark oak wood to this background i'm going to change some of these blocks with some dark oak wood I'm going to add it in like one row, skip one and add another. And now if you look at this from a distance, it actually looks much better than this. And remember, there will be a list in the description if you want to build along. And if you don't, just sit back and enjoy the process. Now another thing I want to change is actually the floor because this is actually going to get annoying because it is not flat so let's get rid of everything first except for the corners obviously and then once that is done let's get rid of these blocks as well Then I'm going to add the course blocks in again. So I want to change this center area a little bit because it is actually pretty flat as it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to surround this area with some stairs. Just like that then we're going to make a nice little fountain with a chanter on top so to do so we need to get another row of stairs in so let's actually get rid of these blocks then i'm going to go in and around till this point like that after that let's add some quartz blocks again 
two blocks high. Okay, once that is done, you just want to add two more, well, actually four more blocks on top. Then we're going to add some stairs on the sides. Right here, we're going to go around. Let's do the same thing over here as well. Then you want to take some iron bars and place it in, going all the way around. Then on the sides, we are going to add some extra slabs. Just like this. Okay, now first, we are going to go up on these two sides. Three blocks in total. Let's add some iron bars on the sides. Then you want to take some stone button and we're going to add in, going all the way around. On top of this, we're going to add four blocks like this, and we're going to surround this again with some stairs. Here we go. After that, you want to take some end rods and some chains. First, we are going to place some end rods on each staircase like this. After that, you want to add some stairs again, going all the way around. Then take some full blocks again and go up. Then you want to add some chains going all the way up like this. we go then let's take some chains and we're going to place it one here one on the other side and let's repeat it over here as well just to give this a little bit more depth now for the one side you just want to add another one on the back side you want to do the same thing take a lantern and place it in just like that now we're going to change this up a little bit. So you just want to get rid of these four blocks. Then go in two. And just simply go back and connect these two points. Okay, so let's do that for each one. Okay, now let's get rid of all of this. Okay, take some glowstone and you just want to fill this all in with some glowstone. After you got that, you want to replace the sides with some full blocks. Then once again, you just want to add a lantern on top of each. Now we can do a couple more things to add a little bit more red to this. So you can just replace these blocks with some red leather bricks. So we can try to replace these blocks with the red and the bricks. Here we go. Let's see how this looks. It's actually much better this way. And we can do the same thing on top as well. And now we can take some water buckets and let's add it in. So let's add it on two sides over here as well. Here we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some extra slabs underneath and go across. You, and you want to stay in line with this obviously and then you can take some chains again and we're going to add it in on the sides just to add a little bit more decoration to this area over here then let's add some art shapes on top of these pillars so you just want to add a stair full block then let's do the same thing over here. 
then take some slabs again and place it in. So we're going to do this for each one. Take some dark oak trapdoors and we're going to place it in and open them up. And just for some decoration, I'm going to add a nether portal on the corners just for the looks. And we're going to build in our rooms over here. Let's do the same thing over on this side. And we still need to fix up these areas. So I'm going to add in some carpets covering all of this up. I want to add a little bit more of a danger to this. So... What I want to do is I want to replace these blocks with some netherrax. Now you can just place three on the sides. Then make sure that you ignite this just to give this a little bit more effect on the back side. And now we are going to do this for each corner actually. great <laughs> so next up i actually want to change the carpets so let's first replace all of this with some black carpet And let's take some grey carpet and let's outline this. I think this looks much better to be honest then let's add two additional ones on each side now in the next one we are going to focus on the rooms i just wanted to use this episode for some changes and i'm actually very happy with the results of today's episode and we can definitely add a lot more things in the next one so if you have suggestions feel free to let me know as well and hopefully you all enjoyed this and if you did please leave a like and subscribe have a nice day see you the next time